Hello everyone, hello everyone, it's me, NYC Einstein from the Florida New York Stock Exchange. It's Friday, it's gotta be like March 6th or 7th. I don't even know what day it is. This week was really ruthless. We are up more than 1%, all indexes across the board are. Dow Jones Industrial Average up 440 points, 25,350. Stop the madness, transport's up 280. Russell up 25, Spider's up 50. Incredible, oil up $2. Stop the madness, what happened? Did suddenly everybody decide everything's fine, there is no problems? It's a matter of what we focus on. I told you yesterday that all through this whole tariff thing and all this trade war thing, I don't even think the people who initiated the headline know what's really going on. I don't think anybody really knows the, polit the political yet economic impact that it may have. So at the end of the day, the fundamentals really haven't changed. 25% on steel and 10% on aluminum. Net-net is going to convert into a 0.06 difference in the GNP. Is that a big deal? I don't really know. I don't think they know. Then yesterday, after all that negative news and the fragility and whatnot, basically we were told that maybe they're going to let every country independently negotiate their own kind of deals. So you know what? At the end of the day, I think this is a way to be able for them to renegotiate NAFTA. Canada and Mexico will be fine. North American free trade agreement will get to be negotiated. And then at the end of the day, what else is happening? We're going to go sit at the table with North Korea. Is that something to be worried about? Absolutely not. Were you that worried about it when we were going to war with them? Sure. Why should we not at least not go to war with them? Why are we looking at it as this overreaction and all this drama at the end of the day? Economically, we're in the same boat we were. So once you've got all those people who are short the market thinking that we're caught in the end of disaster and that these headlines are going to be fragile and it's the end of the world, basically making a bet on information they don't really understand. And then you've got economic numbers like the employment numbers today that were great. And you've got tech acting incredibly well, hitting a record high since January 24th. And the market's up like crazy. People are back on board. This market never sold. I've been telling you that for days. But the um, selling was emotional. The buying was smart money. And that's what's going on at the end of the day. Look at the fundamentals. Look at what Jim Cramer often says. Just because things, well, you look for the stocks that sold off with the market selling off and realize that their fundamentals haven't changed and those are buying opportunities. Have a shopping list. When everyone else is selling, then buy. Unless the fundamentals have changed. We have so much information we don't understand, but at the end of the day, that's really not gonna have that much economic impact on it. What comes out of Washington should not affect how you trade your portfolio. It's been proven all year long. The fundamentals of tax reform were a good thing, infrastructure a good thing. Unemployment numbers at a low were a good thing. Wage growth actually a good thing. Raising interest at rates actually a good thing into strength. So all the, we're in new rule mode. So don't worry, be happy. Have a smoke and a pancake, go home and relax. If you're trading, be a day trader, take profits, don't take losses. No one ever went broke taking a profit. You know what I'm saying? No one gets out of here alive. That's the bottom line. So have a great weekend. We're looking into the next week. S&P, a lot of rebalances by the end of the week. Option X. I'll be here till Thursday. Then I'm going skiing and I love you all. I'm coming to you in a minute. Be good. I'll see you later.